హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు మై యూట్యూబ్ ఛానల్ సో దిస్ ఈస్ మై ఫ్రెండ్ ఆదిత్య అండ్ ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో వీఆర్ యాక్చువల్లీ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ ది స్కోప్ ఆఫ్ సస్టైనబుల్ ఎనర్జీ ఇంజనీరింగ్ సో హీస్ యాక్చువల్లీ ఇన్ హీస్ ఫైనల్ సెమస్టర్ అండ్ హీ ఆల్సో హాస్ గోడ్ ఐ జాబ్ సో ఫస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ కంగ్రాట్స్ ఫర్ దాట్ వన్ థ్యాంక్ యూ వెరీ మచ్ ఓకే అండ్ సో బేసికలీ ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో వాట్ వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ ఈస్ వాట్ ఎగ్జాక్ట్లీ లైక్ టు గివ్ అన్ ఓవర్ వ్యూ అబౌట్ వాట్ ఎగ్జాక్ట్లీ ఇస్ దిస్ సస్టైనబుల్ ఎనర్జీ ఇంజనీరింగ్ and the various institutions that provide that course and um, yeah basically the syllabus for that one and how exactly is the job market and finally should you take this one so that's the various things that we are going to discuss in this video so without further ado let's get into the video this video will definitely be helpful to the students who already have completed their civil engineering or their mechanical engineering architecture or electrical engineering so uh, the first question uh, aditya could you please tell us uh, um, about your background first of all thank you lino my background is actually in petroleum engineering i studied my undergraduate in india for which was followed by 3 years of work as a petroleum engineer in nigeria and after that i decided to change my course in terms of perspective from petroleum engineering towards a more renewable perspective okay okay and the second question um, so why you pick ireland for that one while i was looking for a number of universities i thought let us go for some renewable energy engineering courses so while searching for courses and universities across europe i came across the sustainable energy engineering course at wit in ireland in terms of study time it was much lesser than the other courses i studied and it was much more affordable which is a big um which is a big factor for indian students in general yeah it just like i always always say like uh, the best uh, best thing with ireland it's you know the masters program it's basically one year so we can get this uh, masters within one year so that's actually a good one actually right and uh, so the next question like uh, while you are considering for the various courses what were the alternative courses other than uh, this one so that you have considered I had considered some courses in Germany. Okay. There were some renewable energy courses in Germany. There was one particularly co- particular course that I was very interested in. It's called the Eurek Masters course. It's a 2 years course that is uh, offered in as a um how should I put it as a part of an initiative by the European Union to promote renewable energy usage in Europe. So I had definitely considered that course which is called the Eurek course. as part of while uh while i was looking for changing uh, while i was looking for my masters however i found this sustainable energy course and then i decided maybe it's it might be similar at the face of it i thought it might be similar and i decided to take it up okay actually that was pretty informative because i, I also didn't uh, knew anything about that one actually <laughs> so uh the next question it's uh, could you please explain like what exactly is this sustainable energy engineering course it, what it basically meant to be like could you give me a small overview uh, i'd be glad to in sustainable energy engineering what happens is we analyze the energy that is utilized and lost from several different buildings over the course of time as and when they are being occupied at the moment it is in europe and in the world energy usage is being uh, focused on when they are trying to reduce the effects of climate change and trying to combat it so in this case in for such a scenario sustainable energy engineering helps you to identify how and how much and in which ca- in which manner energy is being utilized and lost from a building and in such a case and by learning this you are able to device or identify ways and methods from which you can reduce this energy loss and optimize the energy that can be used in the building it is applicable to both houses and to both domestic where people live and non residential buildings such as government offices gyms schools hospitals all sorts of buildings and in terms of uh course structure this all uh, this uh, this course not only covers the identification of energy usage and loss but it also promotes the use of renewable technologies and provides an insight into how some renewable technologies can be used to create renewable energy 
that can be utilized in these buildings popular examples include maybe solar solar photovoltaic solar pv you you can even have biogas wind turbines etc okay that sounds pretty exciting okay um, so the next question um, does the job under the sustainable energy engineering does that fall under the critical skill category or uh, the general work permit unfortunately at the moment it does not fall under the critical category maybe it may change in a few years but for now it is not a critical skill and if anyone wishes to take up uh, a sustainable energy job it will have to be under a regular work permit in ireland okay and uh, what exactly uh, should be the basic qualification uh, in order to like to get the admission here could you please explain on that one in order to get admission the basic that they are require is uh, a bachelor's degree in stem which can be electrical mechanical in my case it was petroleum engineering however the basic is at least a first class or uh, above degree a minimum in indian standards we could say a minimum of 65 to 70% and you require an ielts test as proof of english uh, as a proof of english proficiency here the general the standard is 6.5 out of 9 okay okay uh, so the sixth question yeah so uh, you already have mentioned about the syllabus right um so is it industry oriented like uh, our syllabus and uh, uh, is it easy or difficult so how exactly how exactly is the course is it compared to like uh, your previous studies um the course is intense because what they are teaching you is uh, basically they are teaching you lots of things about an entire industry in let's say 8 months so it is quite intense but the coursework is very practical oriented you learn software which is being which i am utilizing the software that i learned in my course i am utilizing it now and many of the concepts are actually utilized in ireland you see them on a regular day to day basis if you come from a different background like i did you may not appreciate it as quickly as others but those who are in civil or architecture or even mechanical they can easily grasp and appreciate the nuances that are taught in the degree okay thanks aditya um so the next question um is it easy to get a job here in ireland and how is the job market for this sustainable energy engineering in ireland generally there is a demand for it however the demand is quite time specific in my case Uh, as i heard from my mentors and seniors i as i began applying for jobs in december however i did not receive any adequate responses the actual time begins after a, after march or april that is when the openings start coming up and that is when the companies also start looking for these engineers there are very many jobs there are both big and small companies and various projects that are running through ireland on various scales for sustainability and it is very much possible that every that anyone who does this course can get a job in my case and in my batchmates case we have all gotten jobs so there is definitely the demand i am still seeing job offers and openings and vacancies on various job sites and uh, even when i when i send mails or uh, Uh, uh notif when i sent messages and mails to companies that were requ- as uh, uh, with submission of my cv uh, they are requesting that okay fine now you come back for interviews and all so in short there is demand however it is quite time specific and i would suggest that if you take up the course you should first focus on the studies part and when the time rolls around march or april at that time you can start applying for jobs Okay, that's pretty informative. <laughs> okay, um, so the eighth question, basically, it's uh, so you have already started your job. So, uh, could you please explain to us, like, what exactly is our work in this industry from your experience so far? Right. Uh, in my job, what I am doing, I am basically designing energy models for a building, and through those energy models, I analyze how much energy is being utilized by that building in terms of heating, electricity, etc. and how the heat is being lost so we have to as part uh, in ireland you have to be compliant with certain regulations 
the buildings have to be compliant with certain energy regulations that are stipulated by the government and as an energy modeler it is my job to analyze and and uh, check whether the building is compliant with these regulations or not apart from this we also have some other jobs which include energy assessments and those uh, provide there are energy assessments and various other uh, roles that are available in ireland for a sustainability so now let's uh, move on to the second last question um so experienced or freshers um, for uh, getting this job so how easy is it to get the job in ireland compared to uh, freshers and experienced who got more chance to get the job and you know the internships graduate jobs and how is the situation um in turn i cannot uh... I have not had much contact because uh, WIT does offer a bachelor's course for sustainability. However, I have not had the chance to speak with bachelors. But there are equal opportunities for masters students and bachelor students at the same time. If you are experienced, you do get um, there are vacancies for senior positions in energy firms. And if you are a fresher like me, then there are graduate roles available for when Uh, or as and when the time rolls by thank you so our final question so that's basically um, your suggestions to the upcoming students <laughs> uh, my suggestion would be if you are interested in um, in looking at renewable energies i would certainly suggest that you give this a thought i am not advocating that you have to come for it but it is certainly a thought provo- it is certainly provoking in terms of perspective and thought and there are opportunities available not just in ireland but in europe as well so it is a good opportunity uh, this this sort of perspective and courses due to gain more traction as our as we continue our efforts against climate change in uh, the un and uh, if you know the cop26 glasgow talks that happened earlier this year they plan to have the world carbon neutral by 2050 so sustainability is going to play a major role in getting to that milestone so if you wish to play a part in it i would certainly suggest that you take a look at this course and uh, coming to ireland like uh, about the weather and is there anything about that one like coming to ireland <laughs> I have in from my personal experience Ireland is a very nice place. The people are nice, the facilities are good. It is a very um the it has a high standard of living. Although I would say the prices are a bit uh, high, but still in if you if you compare it with the quality of life you are getting it is quite uh uh if uh, I have no other way to say it but it is quite uh, comparable yeah, yeah. and it is justifiable. The only, my only issues is with the weather which is quite unpredictable at the moment <laughs> because you know uh, sometimes it will rain we cannot uh, predict anything so uh, for like for example let's say now it's raining and 5 minutes after that it will be like sunny day yeah yeah so we cannot predict anything so that's it it's a, actually it's a pretty uh, good experience like uh, coming to ireland for me and yeah. so as you can see it already started raining so that's basically ireland <laughs> okay so uh, aditya uh, thanks a lot for uh, um, saying this much information and um, and uh, once again congratulations for your uh, new job thank so you. all the best for your future thank you so i believe this video will definitely be um, useful to the coming students then see you then bye bye